Good morning. Welcome to the morning snooze for March 17th and 18th. I'm Ethan Foster. I'm Maddie Carpenter. Mincio, Jung, Abby McIntosh, Tegan Robinson, and Libby Rowland each won a prestigious prize in the Fry Festival Provincial Creative Writing Contest. Congratulations to these talented folks. Reach for the Top will be playing games with buzzers every B day now that we are in Yellow Phase. That's in room 212. Aspire Environmental Action Group meets Friday at noon in room 109 where we share climate action ideas and screen documentaries, open to all who are interested in helping shape the future. You may have noticed that this week is La Semaine Provinciale de la Fierté Française. <laughs> because of this, we have a message from our Minister of Education, Dominic Cardi. He is speaking in French, so if you don't understand, like me, well, just enjoy the happy children in the video. Je suis Dominic Cardi, le ministre de l'Éducation et de la Développement de la Petite Enfance. Pour moi, mon habilité de parler le français, le français malgré les erreurs de temps en temps, c'est quelque chose que je suis tellement fier. Pour moi, c'est un élément essentiel d'être un néo-brunswickois dans le 21e siècle. Quelque chose de tellement important de prendre connaissance de notre histoire, de notre diversité, de contribution que les Acadiens, les Bréons, les francophones qui ont venu dans notre petite province ici à côte de la, la, la mer Atlantique, de tous les pays du monde, pour partager une vision, une vision d'une province bilingue fondée sur deux populations, deux cultures fondateurs. Et pour moi, quand je regarde l'histoire de la population acadienne, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont fait ici, quand, quand ils ont arrivé dans un pays froid, difficile, et créé une culture avec un niveau de résilience qui a surmonté tous les défis des siècles et des siècles, pour moi c'est quelque chose qui c'est l'essence d'être un Néo-Brunswickois. Pour moi, comme quelqu'un de l'origine de l'Angleterre, je suis fier en 2021, 2021 de dire que mon cœur est acadien. Merci. I understand French and I still love kids in Acadian colors. That was incredible. Odyssey kids, McDonald's kids. Wow, that was just... Meditation will be held today in room 235, Miss Dunnett's room, halfway through lunch hour at 1 o'clock. All are welcome. Teachers and EAs are also welcome to attend. There will be badminton practice for those who signed up for badminton team today. It will start 15 minutes after the, after the beginning of lunch. Track and field practice today after school. Meet in library just and ready to go at 345. This is the time of year where students ask their teachers for reference letters. It could be to help them get a job, get into university. It might even help them win a scholarship. So many people are doing it so badly that our teachers actually made a video that explains how to ask for a reference letter. So listen up, here it comes. Hey, Mr. Cormier. Could I get a reference letter for the scholarship thing I'm doing? It's due for tonight. Thank you. Was that you? Teachers want to help you by writing reference letters, but you need to give us some basic information. So, here are some teachers giving you some tips for asking for a reference letter. So you need to always provide advance notice to give your teachers time to come up with wonderful things to say about you. Don't forget that teachers have lives too outside of this building. Thanks. If the teacher doesn't know you very well, make sure that you give them some speaking points so that they can write you the best possible letter. Give them an updated resume. Give them a copy of your completed application. Um, give them some bullet points of all your accomplishments. Don't assume that the teacher knows how awesome you are and everything that you've achieved. Doesn't hurt to remind the teacher a few days ahead of time, just as a reminder, but don't pester them. So, teachers need to know the deadline for the application of the letter and what they're supposed to do with the letter once it's written. Do you need the letter uh, on school letterhead? Do you need it scanned? Does it need to be mailed directly? Do they give you the letter? Or does it go in a sealed envelope for me to send off to the university or wherever you're heading? So if you can answer those questions before you ask us to do a reference, it speed the process up by, oh, immeasurably. Thanks. 
grads, you've been our babies since grade 9. And now that you're grade 12 and you want us to write you a letter, we take a lot of pride in writing a lot of really nice things about the person that you have become. Because we've taken the time to do that, you could probably take a little bit of time after to write a nice little thank you note back to the teacher just saying how much you appreciate the time and effort they took to write the letter for you. When you've decided who you would like to write your reference letter, please have the confidence and the courtesy to ask them in person. It shows character, effort, and thoughtfulness. You can use social media to contact the reference to set up the conversation. However, make sure the asking is in person. Always provide the exact name of the scholarship and the full mailing address. Wow, Jeez. that was crazy. And I know how to write a reference letter. Now. Take it easy, Mr. Agnew. <laughs> oh. um, here's hoping that COVID goes away really soon. On that note, Magic Mountain is hiring for this summer. Magic Mountain has been mostly run by McNaughton students, so let's represent. Apply by April 15th at magicmountain.ca slash jobs. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, student government has hidden 100 gold coins throughout the school. Five of the gold coins have a special sticker that indicates you have come to claim a prize in room 170. That's Mr. Cormier's room. We are very excited to introduce our special guest. You may remember him for his pleasure for cheese. Um, our very own Highlander Irish spirit. Poof. What's up, Highlanders? I'm the lucky leprechaun. And I'm here to talk about BMHS Spirit! No, I'm not. Um, BMHS Drip. So, I don't even know how to tie a tie, but I know all the Highlanders around here are just dripping. Look at them! Crazy! Alright, doodle doo potato! Thanks for tuning in to BME Test Snooze. I'm Ethan Foster. I'm Maddie Carpenter. And we'll see you next week. Have a good day.